Hello, I'm Dan Loy, Extension Beef Specialist and Director of the Iowa Beef Center, and this is Feed Yard Friday. There are four rations in a feedlot. Number one, the one that your nutritionist formulates. Number two, the one that gets weighed into the feed wagon or feed truck. Number three, the one that gets delivered to the feed bunk. And number four, the one that the animal actually eats. Ideally, we'd like to see all four of these rations be the same, but that's not always the case. This week we'll discuss how to use the Penn State Particle Separator, or the Shaker Box, originally developed to determine the particle size and rations for managing effective fiber levels in lactating dairy cows. We have adapted this tool for several feedlot applications. The Penn State Shaker Box consists of a series of trays with different sized screens. The standard sizes are of 3 quarter of an inch, or 19 millimeters, 8 millimeters, and 4 millimeters. The process involves shaking five times from each direction twice. So let's demonstrate. As you can see, the feedstuffs of different particle sizes naturally separate. The top tray includes the long stem forage that helps the animal maintain rumen health. The second tray includes forage and fiber that's too large to exit the rumen. Forages in the top two trays are regurgitated and rechewed or masticated. In this process, lots of buffering saliva is produced as a benefit. The 4 millimeter tray captures the remaining particles that are too large to exit the rumen. By weighing the feeds in each tray and analyzing for fiber or neutral detergent fiber, we can calculate the effective fiber of the ration. This is more important than roughage level alone. We'd like to see at least 7 to 12 percent effective NDF in a ration. By uniformly sampling a mixer wagon as it's unloaded, measuring the percent of each sample in the top two trays, we can evaluate the effectiveness of feed mixing. We do this by collecting at least 10 samples and measuring the percentage in the top two trays, and then calculating a, per, a coefficient of variation, which is simply the standard deviation divided by the mean. A number of less than 10% is usually a good mix. If there's a problem, adjustments can be made into mixing time, sequence of ingredients, or mixer maintenance. If you collect samples throughout the day and go through the same process, you can evaluate the extent to which cattle are sorting the ration. Remember the four rations. Our goal should be for every mouthful to be as close to the one that the nutritionist formulates as possible. As always, feel free to contact us at the Iowa Beef Center for more information.